up clouds and dust branches and bits of unknown objects. Wow. That's it, Tim Ford. It was had, it was, it was what he had hopped, hoped for a tornado. Wow. Tim and Roy are tornado chasers. They swim and suddenly tornadoes. Tim and Roy must drive very close to the deadly storm. Wow, that's really dangerous. On that spring day, um, they almost came too close. Oh, they almost came too close. This guy's taking a picture of a tornado. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah, but you have to be really brave to do it. And then what? You get in your car and you drive really fast. Go ahead, read. Let's see what happens. Tim parked the van southeast of the tornado. That's us usually the safest spot for Fleming. The reason is that tornadoes normally travel from southwest to north, to the north east. I did not know that. By the southeast is the safest spot. Wow. This guy. Then the two tornado chasers set up the tools, video cameras, Two boots and a TV for watching weather reports. Tim and Roy watched the tornado twist across the Texas plain. They felt safe. The, the tornado was moving away from them. They filmed the action. Wow. The tornado was moving away from them. This is the tornado right here. Oh, wow. Then the tornado changed direction. It made a big choppy circle. It was heading toward Tim and Roy. The tornado was now chasing them. Instead of the other way around, Tim and Roy quickly tossed everything into the van. They jumped and speed away. Tornadoes also travel about 5, 30 to 50 miles per hour. That is under the highway speed limit, but th some tornadoes go 70 miles per hour. That's way too fast for a turn, even in a van. If a tornado did catch Tim and Roy, the winds could pick up the van 